Hello everyone, and welcome back to Haller for an Hour. Today we're starting with a game called After Death. This game has a very Castlevania-esque vibe. It actually makes me think of the visual, it, it seems to have a visual style very similar to the Lacard Chronicles 1 and 2, which were these really fantastic Castlevania fan games, perhaps the best Castlevania fan games, especially the second one. I have to wonder if it's made by the same team, I'm not sure, it just gives off that vibe, so it caught my attention, because I knew how cool those games were already. But I guess we'll find out, and maybe see, but uh, before we begin. If you like the video, do think about giving a like, and if you haven't subscribed yet, think about doing that as well. But if you really want to help out, come over to Twitch. We're trying to reach partner over here, but I need more viewers to do it. Actually, how many viewers do we have right now, chat? But uh, if so, if you want to come by, whether it's to lurk or to talk, Think about doing that, because we could always use an extra view. And every view counts, and we'd honestly love to talk to you, too. 44. See, we need 75 average, so come on by. Add to that view count. Let's get 25 more going. Or 26. Is that is that the math? I think that's the math. Also, we have a pretty cool Discord community if you want to check that out. And I have a coffee link if you want to help directly monetize my content. All links are in the description, so check them out at your leisure. So, uh, yeah, this has a Castlevania vibe to it, but from what I can tell, we play as a spooky, scary skeleton. So let's see what that's about. It looks, it looks, it actually is kind of, this game wasn't recently released, actually. I think it was released two years ago. But I got a review key for it just recently. Kind of odd, but I, I'm not complaining. This visual style really looks Lacard Chronicles. Like, I don't know, Lacard Chronicles just had a very specific style, especially the second game. All right. Where am I? I'm just I'm just skull. Okay. I mean, to be fair, I probably don't remember my name if I'm just a skeleton. I have to find a way out. I'm gonna do a grim dark voice. Ah. All right. Uh, <laughs> okay. What do we got? Oh, well, I got more mobility than Castlevania. Yeah? But it does kind of feel like a similar attacking speed, I guess. Is this readable? Nope. Well, I'm glad we start with a claw hand. That's very convenient. Huh. Interesting. The visitor. Who are you? Actually, I have no idea. See, we didn't. We don't have a brain or head. <laughs> can you help me leave this place? No, but I can help you get your memory back. Why would you? Why would I do that? Why? Why would I? Why would I get my memory back? That's a stupid idea. This world is very hostile. If you die, I could bring you back to your last saved memory. Thank you. I think I was, why would you do that? My name is Memri. Memri. Okay, Memri, you're a crab monster. Thank you very much for your help. So you just come out of statues? That's neat. <laughs> okay. He's got that Belmont strut. He absolutely does. Hey, here, here, here's, here's a thought pattern. A castle via game, but you play as one of the monsters. <laughs> That's kind of what we're doing here, actually. Ah. Break. I don't like candles. They'll burn the place down. There, see all this? You see all this cloth everywhere? Eh, actually. What's going on over here? Oh no, I can't break it. What do we have here? A holy spirit that is a floating soul. And who are you? I imagine that you already met Memroy. Memroy. I'm Ignaro. I think I can you can help me open the portal. You want to leave this place, correct? I can help you, and you can help me. What are these phantasmal creatures? I will give you equipment to progress in this world. Up until you can open the portal. Here is something that will help you open the skeleton doors. That better not be a pun. They're doors for skeletons only. I see now. Achievement unlocked. Thanks, Ignaro. Thanks, Ignaro. You're great. Thanks, dude. That was just the name of the achievement. Thanks, Ignaro. All right. Skeleton door. <laughs> oh, hi there. I guess we're going. Take that other skeleton thing. Apparently, I do not like other skeleton things. Actually, hold on a minute. I see. Ah, yes. 
It is a Metroidvania. I was wondering. Actually, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if we were going classic action stagey sort of situation or indeed Metroidvania. It looks like we're going Metroidvania. All right. Well, good news. I like Metro. I like classic. I like uh, Metroidvanias more than classic Castlevanias. Can't go through there. The song has a very 90s feel, like I'm digging. Oh no, more skulls. I don't know what that thing is wearing, but I will destroy it. Hmm. Hi, are you yet another spirit? How many souls are there? You're already the third one I met. Interesting. Someone who speaks about being a floating soul. My name is Ad Ad Advocus. Advocus? I don't know how many we are. Do you all want to open the portal? Certainly not. It looks like you met Ignaro. And if I can give you some advice, don't open this portal. Okay, do you have some other tips for traveling in this world? I can teleport you to any gargoyle such as myself. That you have already visited. So I have to find another gargoyle like you. So that's how it works. Okay. This song is very cyberpunk. I'm not actually feeling cyberpunk, mostly because. Uh, I'm act this actually feels very Genesis, that's what it feels like. Huh, choices now. Also, a lot of like, it feels like a Castlevania intro song. Uh, because a lot of- a lot of the first stage song of Castlevania games are quite bombastic. The walls aside, I I met the prerequisite of learning tutorial things, so I don't need to- I don't need to be blocked anymore, I guess. Okay, there's two paths we can take. I wonder if they meet up at the bottom. Let's see. No, they seem to not. Hello again. Ah, save point? Sure, why not? But, but I do have to say though, this song is pretty sick, actually. Water. Does this bother me? Not particularly. Seems to increase jump high a little bit. I mean, exa exactly how would I drown? I don't have lungs. I've used the spine to explore the ruins. That's one of the few things I do have. Thanks for noticing. <laughs> okay, so th there's an under. There's definitely a lower path, but there's also an upper path. I'm not sure which. How did I find myself in a desert? Yeah, that's a good question. I guess I'll go back for now, since that's a separate area. I like the lampshade. The writing feels a little throwaway in this, but everything else feels super polished. This is really good sprite work. What is that thing? Is it? Oh, it's, it's an enemy, apparently. All right. It's chained up. It appears I have four hits I can take. Ah, I see, taking the high path is actually a little tricky. Because if you drop down, you can't go back up.
That means that the up path probably is, is has something good on it. I don't think I can make that jump though. I guess to the desert then. <laughs> Either creature. Can't promise how much I'll be around cause phone service is shoddy here, but how the Blur SK Damprolog ha 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 wa ho a ho a ho a ho 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 I'm glad your move is going well. <laughs> I assume you're still getting internet set up or something. <laughs> Thanks for coming by. All right, to the desert, I suppose. I'm gonna have to play about one thing. I can't look down. At least I don't think I can. No, it doesn't look like I can. So every time I drop down, it's I'm kind of blindly dropping. She usually isn't a problem. That's how things are laid out, but it would be nice if pressing down for long enough would let me see below me. Like you know, that'd be handy. So we are now in a. What is that creature <laughs> below us? Glad it's dead, I guess? I don't know, it's a skeleton like everything else. It might just pop up. Ow. Okay, there's there's a exa perfect example of what I mean by... Be nice if I could look down. Figured that would happen at some point. So yeah, we are in a desert all of a sudden. Kind of weird total shift, but alright. I mean, I would have at least thrown an introduction boss in the previous area at the player before putting them in a new environment, but, you know, whatever. Variety. I see that door. It's kind of sneaky. Why do you need gargoyles to talk to me? The gargoyles were created by the sculptor. They are like catalysts for floating souls. Thanks to them, we can use our gifts. Can't the gargoyles be used by the fo all floating skulls? No, the sculpt sculptor created a gargoyle specifically for each floating soul. Why do you do that? It's up to you to find the answers. Okay, fair enough. What's over here? So this is just a secret save, slightly mildly secret save point. It's a little hard to notice. Ha, I've opened that top tile. Very satisfied. Okay, so I can drop down. Ah, lovely. Oh, there's another one down there. I didn't realize. Ow. Hooray! Fortunately, the moment you get hurt, it'll be start dropping power, uh, dropping the health, so. All right, that was kind of hard to get down to. What's down here? Oh no! Ha! Huh, is this like a? It's a ship. Interesting. In the sands of all places. Okay. Over here. Ice! That's a weird place for ice, I have to say. This biome is all. These biomes are all sorts of fucked. First, the desert's right next to our rainy biome, but now there's an ice below the desert. Okay. The uh, biomes that are fucked are also interesting, usually, so that kind of works out to the game's advantage.
Oh, I can just walk underneath that. That's useful. This way. I'd like to eliminate the right paths though. How, how deep does this. This is a very. I'm gonna say for a boat. For like just your typical seafaring vessel, this seems to go down and down and down. Holy shit. It doesn't. Like it keeps going down! <laughs> I must say. I was expecting so much downage here. It's like a very, very deep wooden ship. Okay, that's just a dead end. I don't... Alright then. I feel like the level design is maybe a little lacking. It's not like terrible or anything, but I'm not really feeling... Well, for a Metroidvania, I was kind of expecting to like run into some, you know, goodies or something. Oh, we found not frozen water now. Okay. Still in the ship though. Ah, finally, the exit of the ship. Huh. Pfft. It's not even over there. I bet I can really reach it anyways. Oh, they take that back. So, that was just a point. Let's see, uh, um, uh... A lot of Metroidvanias, they will have dead ends here and there, but... Like, typically speaking, at least, uh, a Metroidvania will typically have some... goodies here and there, something to power you up now and then in dead ends, you know? Hmm. That's odd looking. Also, more wood? Does the ship technically go lower than that? Is this broken up, maybe? Alright, what's in here? Yep, another save point. There we go. I knew I could do it. Oh, that looks... Oh, fi hey, there we go. Finally, some, some sort of Metroidvania like collectible. Let's see if I can get to that. Hmm. I don't think I can. Wait, maybe I can? Nah, there's like a... Yeah, I need, I need a double jump or something. I wonder if that means I'm not supposed to get up here yet. Because that was a bit of a pixel-perfect jump. Let's see what's over here. Wait, did that door have a weird symbol above it? I wonder. I thought so. Well, hello. Okay, rocks fall, everyone dies. Is there any warning where they're gonna fall? Oh god. Alright. There's health there, but I can't get it. Alright. Fine. Also, no, it does not appear. Okay, so the rocks drop health. 
That's useful to know. That means in a, in a case of, if I'm patient, I should be fine. But it does appear that I need to, I assume, hit him in the head. Uh, okay, that didn't really hit me, fortunately. Well, that's a very easy to dodge attack, gotta say. Please keep doing it. Nope, not quite. It should be like right. oh fuck. What? So let's encourage yeah, there we go. I think I kinda of figured out where they fall. Ow. Him to go up or not, apparently. It's fine, I should win this by attrition alone. There we go. Boss seems a little lame. Well, if it wasn't dropping. Rock health, it would have been a little harder. <laughs> I'll say that much about it. But yeah, it, is, it was a little lame too. Had to blow my nose. All right. That, you know, that thing that we don't have is a skeleton. <laughs> Technically. <laughs> Did we... Did we get something out of that? <laughs> I would figure defeating a boss would be a catalyst to obtain a new ability. <laughs> There's some health way over there on the left for some reason. Alright, I guess, uh, I guess that's... Well, I guess the... I guess what we earned was a new path, technically, because, yeah, I don't know what's over here. Well, I've certainly ended up somewhere now. Oh, here we go. I can't believe the sculptor closed the portal like that. I bet the other guards aren't as strong. Aren't as strong? That was pretty weak already. Do you mean aren't as weak? Oh, okay, I got, I got, uh, I got, I got cloves. Press RB to activate the ice spell. Okay. Achievement unlock. You tear. I hate you, developer. The achievement. I got an achievement. The name of it? Let it go. Good. So, how often can I use this? Oh, I see. There's a charge bar. Well, it doesn't freeze the water. I was thinking it would or something. It doesn't seem to. Or is it supposed to? Oh, wait, hold on. No, I don't. I'm, I'm, I presume I'm supposed to make an ice platform or something. Freezes if you're not saying it. Maybe that's right. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, it didn't look like I could quite hit this, hit it with the spell from the platform because the platform wasn't terribly close to the water. I don't want to open that portal. I don't want to leave this world. Let's stay here. At least we'll be safe. Uh, there's a lot of monsters, though. <laughs> like, monsters that don't like me. Safe, but surrounded by monsters. Like, even Skull brings it up. That's not my problem. I'm a floating soul. I can't be hurt. At least not physically. Okay. So we can teleport back now. So we can freeze the water and grab whatever was above us, but... Because, yeah, I think I can reach that thing with the frozen water power. I thought we needed a double jump, turns out. Nope. What's that do? Ah, oh, I know where that door is, yeah. Okay. So we can hurt his feelings, yes. We can hurt him emotionally. Huh. Alright. Okay, so things are doubling back now. Alright, alright. Well, the, I, that's a very odd... That's a very odd thing to get as the first power-up, the ability to freeze water. That's not a normal... 
thing. I actually don't mind this at all, though. It's just that a lot of Metroidvanias, they'd be like, oh yes, have a double jump or something. So actually, weirdly enough, that pixel perfect jump, well, it's not really that hard, but I thought I was, I thought I was uh, doing a little cheese there. It turns out I wasn't. Oh, um. I'm gonna get, I guess that uh, enough time passes it'll fade away. Or maybe I use it again. No? Okay. Or do I just have to use a doorway? Either it fades over time or, I'm just ha or I just have to go through a doorway. But yeah, I think I think what I saw to the above me here is probably a health upgrade. Let's nab that. Yeah, actually, it's... No, that's a good question. Can we unfreeze the water is actually a very good question. Because we found frozen water before. What is this one little thing? Well... This one's just hecking out. Goodbye. <laughs> All right. <gasps> oh, how utterly random. So I can freeze the water, but to unfreeze it, I must find a jewel. Huh. At least I assume that's what did that. Yep. What a weird way of disabling the power. <laughs> Also, I thought that was a power-up. Nope, just a way to turn off the freeze. Huh. I think it's unlikely that we can soft lock ourselves, but I suppose... I suppose the point here is to freeze the water and then go over here. I, I, technically, oh, I can actually go through here. It's uh, it's uh, I need a, I need a, I need to have, I have a skeleton key, but I need like a. What's better than a skeleton key? That's a good question, actually. I don't know, fuck, I forgot about him. I guess I'll check over here now. Dig of the music though, this game. Pretty good soundtrack. It's got a kind of a, it's got a bit of a lo-fi beat. Like it's using some Genesis Genesis -y synths, but also some other instruments too. Another one. It, is that a fourth spirit? Who are you? It looks like I'm no longer invisible. For a long time, no one could see me. It's finally over. My name is Fortitude. Can you help me? I have many of these small objects. As I am only a floating soul, I don't truly need them. Take them. They will help you survive in this hostile world. Okay, right, thanks. Did we need a did we need an entire NPC to have items to give me? Interesting. Like they could just be sitting there, but alright. What so okay. I got something. I got a power-up that lets me see my location on the map? Oh, it, oh, it straight up was a map unlock, actually. Okay, yeah. Alright. Well, I, those lower paths, I, I've already checked. I can't go down them, so... The other two besides Fortitude, uh... There's, there's three, actually. What were the other one's names? One of them was... Ah, oh, fuck, I already forgot. There's a map of the- Ow! Forest, too! I forgot about this guy. <laughs> fuck, I'm getting destroyed. That guy has a- that guy had a good position over me.
there's also stuff in the desert though still, so I'm gonna check that first. Like I didn't go up here. That map tile is going to annoy me. See if I can hit it. Absolutely. Well, actually, no, there is one way. No, never mind. False hopes. Ig Ignarius. Yeah, something. Ig something. I don't care if their names were. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Ah, oh, I can't. I want. I want to activate the bell. Well, whatever. <laughs> that does give me hope. There's probably a way to do so later, though. I guess there's a doorway there, but I can't see it. And I can't seem to activate it. Hmm. There it is. Never mind. <laughs> ah, this is probably where I'm supposed to go for something. Nothing here is grabbing my attention. Well, I don't really... I kind of, like, casually agree. I Like, the, the uh, names of the... Ghost is not that big a deal. Like, the, narratively, this game isn't really grabbing me. It just kind of threw us in, which is fine. But there isn't really a lot to write home about with the uh, characters and such right now. Oh, do I have to, like, ah, oh, okay, I have to do a jump. I, I could do it in midair, so. Action, action freeze, I guess. So yeah, a little bit of a- oh, the, oh, 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 wow. I had to just stand in midair waiting for everything to melt. That took a while. Ha! Ah! And that requires a well-timed freeze there. I see. I don't like how long it takes to unfreeze the water. Like, that whole time I'm hanging in midair, you can tell how long it takes. <laughs> so, okay, let's try this again. There we go. You fall fairly quick, so it does require a bit of timing. Hi. Thanks for- oh, cool, extra health. So I knew- so there was another health power-up, I figured. That's kind of stingy, though. You get a new heart, you get a new health bit, and it doesn't even heal. It doesn't. Even, it just gives you an empty. <laughs> you have to fill it yourself. Ah, oh, goodness me. So stingy. All right, well, back to the forest, I suppose, because that's the only direction I can go. You missed the boss? It, it looked imposing, but it wasn't that bad. Especially since the rocks it caused to fall would drop health if you were hurt. Which certainly made things a little less tense. Basically, any any boss fight that has infinite health drops is probably not that hard a fight if you're careful. Unless the boss just outputs insane damage, at which point, you know, that can still be dangerous, but... I could have warped, but that's all the way down there, so I may as well walk, I figure. 
All right, let's see. Was there any water on the... Yeah, I think so. Ow. There was definitely water in the forest. I'm just trying to think. I didn't check all the paths in there anyways. In there already. Actually, no, I did actually, didn't I? Every path I could at the time get to, I checked. So I suppose that leaves. Ow. These guys are dicks. I gotta, like, back up to set them up right. I mean, sure, I guess I might as well. <laughs> I don't think that does anything valuable for me, but why not? Okay, so... Let's try... Those guys only attack when you hit them? This is this is the that's the intentional way, but can I go the other direction? The map did reveal a section to the right. To be fair, they're homing enemies, so they place themselves out of range of me depending on my location, right? So technically, I can control that. Right, and this is, uh... Yeah, that was a... Okay. Alright, to the left we go, then. I think he just walked away from the map. What do you mean? The revealed map section's up to the right, yes, but I can't reach that. Not even a pixel perfect jump would do it. Yes, the top of the forest has water I can freeze, but I was checking to the right just to double check if that area had anything valuable. I will give kudos to whoever wrote this specific song. Cause it's pretty, it's pretty solid. This is a pretty good song. The other music's good too, but... What prevented me from accessing the path below? Hold on, I think I've... I, need, I wanna check that real fast. All oh, right, it was just Yeah, I need the ability to crawl or something. I'm sure we'll get it later. This game is fine. I don't know though. It's not quite grabbing me. Maybe it's our movement speed. Oh, oh, okay. Didn't actually see those. Oh, they can't hurt them. The ghosts of skeletons past, I suppose. Did you buy them? Knew something. Hi. This is the portal. To open it, you'll have to kill all the guards. Okay. Shield guard, sword guard, money bags guard, sad guard, and ruler guard. <laughs> Got it. Oh, but there's actually multiple orbs, so let's see. Here's something that will help you go faster. Okay. That actually is, I like how I, really? Right after I complained about that. Press RT to draw. Oh, it's a dodge. It's not a movement speed buff. It's a. Uh... Can I do it in midair? Nope. Oh wow, that is the most casual. That is the most casual dash ever. So let's see here: one, two, three, four, five, 
Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Looks like twelve. Okay, I still, I think I still stand my case though, because that is the most underwhelming dash ever. <laughs> it doesn't have a cooldown. Well, actually, no, it does. Here's the cooldown. So yes, it has. A, I don't know if somebody that lame really needs a cooldown, but whatever you say, game. <laughs> whatever you say, game. Okay, doorway up there, doorway down there. Doorway there. And a doorway there. Okay, that's a lot of paths. Alright, that's one last path. Yeah, I can't, and also you can't even air dash with it, which would make it a little bit more, you know, useful. A portal, okay. Imagine one of these others are the save point. I imagine one of these is a save point, the other one is the path forward. Oh wait, was there a path over here? Yeah, there is. That's weird, it's not marked for some reason. And... I can't tell which way is the path forward. So I'll go this way. Okay, can't open that. So, is does it give me iframes? It doesn't even give me iframes! This dodge is the shittiest dodge. I was like, okay, so it, it's, it has a cooldown. It's really, it's very short, kinda sucks. Then it must have an iframe, right? <laughs> nope, doesn't even have that. Like, it has to have something. <laughs> But no, it doesn't even have an iframe, so it just... It is just a city, shitty dash. There's nothing valuable about it. That's a lot of these guys. Like, does that even save me any time? Maybe a little bit on flat ground. If the ground is rather flat, maybe it saves a little time. I guess. <laughs> I really wonder what the developers were thinking. Like, we don't want this to be too powerful. No, debuff it more, Jim. Debuff it more. No, it needs more debuffs. Ah. Uh, I don't think they can get me away from these things. Hey, what's that above me? Hi there. Oh, that's just one of those weird bone balls. Ow. Can you freeze them? Oh, I. Oh! That's. Not something I was going to. Interesting. Don't worry, guys. If you can't attack a ghost, just freeze it to make it solid, and then you can attack it. What? That's an odd gameplay mechanic, but fair enough, I guess. It's magic. I suppose that may be why it works. Huh. That one is a little perplexing to me, I gotta be honest. But I suppose if it works. I feel like the, yeah, if there could have been something that indicates using that on ghosted enemies would be kind of cool. Just check to say. I was, like, kind of confused by that guy up there. I was wondering if he was, in, in, like, indicating a secret or something. Alright, let's keep going, I guess. That would have been the first thing I tried. Different strokes, different folks, folks, I guess. I tried melee attacking, didn't hurt them, and thought they were just a dodge obstacle. I mean, I could dodge around them, so that wasn't really much of a problem for me. 
Another reason I don't think of using the spell, look at the range of it. It's not the biggest range, so it would require getting close to them anyways, like the melee did. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. Why was a dream catcher attacking me? Oh, this music's going hard. I like it. Don't like the unfreezing mechanic, though. Stopping the player in their tracks for that is not cool, in my opinion. Also, I have to point out, there's a cooldown on using that. Okay, I cannot affect the lava. Wait, is there a path below me? Hold on. The map would presume I, there isn't, but the map actually seems to be a bit wonky, I notice. No, okay. <sighs> yeah, the recharge time on the spell is a little... It's a little long to be using it for combat, or at least for unfreezing... Or for freezing ghostly enemies all the time. Yeah. It really does look like a dream catcher. A dream catcher person. Oh. Ow. It's out here. I mean, I guess dash underwater could maybe save me a little time. N okay, another bad thing about the dash, I can't even use it to dash off a platform. If I try dashing off a ledge, it just stops the dash. So I can't even gain momentum off the ledge or anything. This, this is the worst dash, holy shit. Every time I'm like, oh, but I probably can at least use it like this, is wrong. It's like, no, you can't. Just the worst dash. I guess I should go in this path. I'm kind of doing a casual meander at this point. Oh. I see. Honestly, there's multiple ways that the dash could have been very useful. It's just... it isn't. So... What do we got? Ah, okay. Right, well, the lower path I can't take yet, I think, right? I actually forgot what was down there now. What blocked me on the lower path there? The one right below me. Ah, yeah, well, I forgot. Oh, yeah, the door. That's right. The door was, uh... It has the black tentacles that I can't break. It's a door I can't break open. I need a power bomb for it or something. I don't know. Oh, okay. I- I'm curious if you could damage boost the lava. But I also think it might be as to death, so... I'm not- I'm good. You see, they are- they are preventing soft locking, if you notice. 
But the dumb thing with that is since the means of un it's really it really is kind of janky to go like yes you can freeze water if you want to unfreeze it though you have to use external means like it is kind of a bad mechanic in my opinion because now that means that they have to litter the level with a bunch of random shit you know <laughs> to to prevent the player from soft locking. Like, I think it would have been a very elegant solution to just allow the player to unfreeze with the freeze power up too. Like you're just, like you're just, you know, you're just, you're doing an effect and then undoing the effect, basically. Fire powers, I'm sure you would, but point still stands, kind of awkward. Honestly, Epic, you, you like the idea of it doing the reverse. I I think that would just present the same problem, personally, but... I mean, if that's what you're interested in, you know? The hell is this place? I can't go here anyways, so... I think the only way that this mechanic would work well, since it is basically... It's a mechanic that based When you get down to brass tacks, the freezing mechanic is something that... Stops one... Stops you from accessing one area so you could access another area. Effectively. Where do the floating souls come from? It seems to me that we have always been. Almost everyone knows each other. But that doesn't mean you are all friends, right? Correct, yes, but we must coexist. Okay. Thanks for the random lore bit. Wait, do I have to touch the statue to, like, save? Oh, uh, yeah, I kind of do, don't I? Important detail. I thought entering the room would be enough, but no. Alright, second boss. Is this going to be better than the first? Let's see. Well, it's Audrey. At least he's happy. Oh, it's Audrey's sister and brother as well. <laughs> Yeah, there are definitely three of them. Thank you for noticing the camera. <laughs> Was that a really an important camera pan? I don't know. Uh, I was gonna say, are they? Is this a boss fight? Like the music is very chill. Well, once again, there are enemies that drop power ups, so I can't say I feel particularly alarmed. I mean, if I'm taking too much damage, I just back off for a bit. So this is just a this is just an enemy generator, but it's a boss. And also, the the, the flies they spit out do do a little poison cloud. I'll give it that. It's a little more dangerous the enemies, but dead. Same kind of music when Samus fought the flat boss in Super Metroid. Ah, probably a reference then. Ow. Yeah, I'm not really feeling the urgency of any of these of either of these bosses, because they're they're Obligingly give me health. <laughs> so even when I'm being pushed around, it's like, okay, whatever. And the health drops are not rare. So I can probably just face tank enemies and not worry about it. <laughs> Look at all the health! Alright. The only time health doesn't drop is if you're full at full health, so. Oh, wow. So, when I'm surprised that health isn't dropping, that indicates that health is pretty, you know, not rare. Right then. Temporary roadblock out of the way, also known as a boss, I guess. <laughs> I'm 
just gonna assume Wobbuson's to death. Hi, Script. Is that him? Yes. I don't know how long he's been here. Alright. A fifth soul has entered the equation? Incredible, this portal is so well protected. Shoes. And the Halo theme, I just realized. <laughs> these, these areas have the Halo theme. You jump a second time. Cool. Very good. Okay, so, the, you know, this game, it, it has all the elements of, like... It has all the elements of a Metroidvania, but it doesn't feel like it has the soul of one. I think that's how it, like, I can't really accurately describe this, but that's how it feels. It feels like it's just, you know, it's playing the part, I guess is the way I'd put it. But it's not really committed to the role. Music's nice, but... Yeah, I can't- I can't say it- it feels... It feels like it's doing everything uh, mechanically correct. But not committing any real spirit to the action. Also, yes, I'm aware there's a power-up down there, but this is also a dead end, so I figured I'd go this way first. Oops. The lack of challenge of the bosses is very sad, specifically. I guess I was supposed to not freeze that water. Paid by numbers. Yeah, it's just it's it's just it's it's just playing the role. Because that's the role it was given. Oh, I almost died. It's a little more exciting. Oh, I can't even get up there with... Okay. Huh. It's almost like... Huh. I'm guessing there's probably a way to get... The ability to unfreeze the environment without using a crystal. That's probably a power-up later. My nose is being a scourge today. All right. It's just, yeah. <coughs> it's just, it exists. It's, there's nothing technically wrong with it. It just... Also, here's the thing about... Here's the problem I have on freezing the enemies. Check this out. See how I have... To, see how I have a uh, frozen one? I have to wait a while to freeze the other one, though, because the spell takes so long to recharge. So, another problem, I guess you could say. Alright, what do we get here? Health? Memori. So, Adv Advocus and Memori. Card answer to your questions. Memori has already seen what was through the portal. How's that possible? Did he tell you? Not really. 
After having seen it, Nimrod decided to erase it from his memory. He was too frightened. That's why you'd rather not know. I think we're safe here. Again, you're safe here. Yeah, it's it's a game. Also, out of curiosity, did the howl happen? I didn't hear it, that's weird. Huh, I didn't hear it for some reason. Well, that's weird. Game was a little loud for it. Ah, true, I did turn it down. Well, yeah, that I it's a shame. I I do legitimately like some of this game's presentation, but the execution isn't there. Do you think Lava Waterfalls hurt you? Yes. But it isn't an instant death, and that was the main question I had. Also, I'm gonna note this again. Not being able to look down and see where I'm dropping? Kinda dangerous. Also, the amount of wait time I have to just wait to refreeze something. Very bad. Hi there. I also just kinda feel like there's a. Like, look at the map for a minute. Look at the amount of distance I have traveled in this tower. Now let me ask you this: For the amount of distance I now, anybody who here, here who has played a cast uh, Metroidvania game or Metro game, uh, if if you have traveled this much map in a Metroidvania game, any other traditional one, how much stuff do you expect to see in covering this much map? How many bosses? How many power-ups? How many special events do you, would you expect to have seen? covering this much ground. Open-ended question. My opinion is that with this much of the map uncovered, I feel like I would have seen, I don't know, a fair bit more stuff show up, you know? Nebulously speaking, I feel like this game is, it's, it's, there's a lot of room, but not a lot of content. There's a lot of dead ends with nothing at them, or just a lot, it's a lot of walking to get to different places, especially with the Castlevania walk speed. I'd like to note something. Actually, something very important. When the Metro, when Metroidvania's, uh, when the Castlevania games that were more Metroid-like were existed, because they have been kind of out of, out of, out of this. You know, there's quite a few of them back in the day. You had there, you generally had more movement speed, or if you didn't, you quickly got more movement speed. Meanwhile, not only is my movement speed slow in this game, but there's a lot of underwater areas that slow down even more. So it's a very it's it takes a while to travel. Granted, there are teleports. I'll give them that, but that thing's hitbox is wonky. It feels like I'm covering a lot of ground for not a lot of gain, and it is kind of it's kind of really bad that we encounter we fought two different bosses and they were both just kind of way too easy due to enemy power ups. I don't feel like I had to really properly try, and that's kind of kind of a damning statement, I guess I'd say. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. He's slightly on lower ground, so I couldn't hit him. Well, that was kind of bullshit. I swung over his head simply because the ground was a little different here. That's kind of shitty, actually. <laughs>
Well, I, I'm just gonna save at the next save point, I guess. Or die. Whatever comes first, I suppose. I... I legitimately don't understand how these guys attack you. Okay, there it is. Maybe they have to be facing you since they can't, I guess, technically turn around. I don't know. Yeah, but this kind of feels like a soulless experience, which is ironic because we're playing as a skeleton. This game is a, is is about as husk as much of a husk as the, as the main character. It's a bit of a shame saying that because it does have good frontal presentation, but it's very eh otherwise. really do about all this water. Safe point. No ice. What the hell? I, I don't think I can explore here, but what a tonal sh what a tonal shift. What a palette shift. What an absolute palette shift this area is. It's like it's like being in a dark room and then somebody shines a flashlight in your eyes. That's what the area feels like. <laughs> Also, notice the wait time. If I miss my ice spell, and I want to kill one of the enemies that requires it, wait. Ah, uh, this is a save point. Nope. Oh, that's a teleport point, actually. Close. I don't know. I always make it a tradition on a Haller game. If, if Even if I'm not feeling super good about it, I want to make sure I save. Just in case, you know? Just in case I decide to come back to it for some... Wow, those guys are almost invisible. But yeah, here's the problem with the ice power up. I've now frozen one of these guys. But I have to wait a bit to freeze the other one. It's just a very tedious mechanic if I have to use it in combat. Okay, what's that thing do? It... it... oh, okay. It unleashes one of those guys when I'm done. Okay, well, Mr. Icicle Eyes makes a little more sense in this environment. Now I found the snow biome. It just, it feels so, it just feels like it's, it feels like a robot made this game. That's the way it feels. A robot that was told, okay, you need to make a Metrovia, and it's like, beep, boop, I will construct Metrovia contained to all elements required for a Metrovia experience. Beep, boop. <laughs> like, <laughs> the hell's that doing? Okay. Hey, a new enemy, though, I'll give it that. You notice how everything's a skull, by the way? Like, pretty much everything has been a skull, except for Audrey. So it's weird because... Oh god, that went really far. Can't say I'm exactly having fun doing the icicle guys. <laughs> also, if I stand this in right in this thing's face, okay, as it ended. If I stand right in those things' face, they can't really do anything to me, so that's good. Robo charm, you like that? <laughs> you like that voice? <laughs> and that's this is the sad. Actually, this is the sort of game that makes me saddest when I see them. It, it is the game that. uh... The sort of game that I can go, ah oh, yes, this was created with a concrete path, but that path was just concrete. It was cold, hard, and lacked any real emotion. <laughs> it was just a concrete path. AKA, you made something solid, but it's not it has no soul. It's just it's just something solid. It, it functions. Unfortunately, we can do better than it functions in the video game landscape, you know? We do a lot better than that. You know, I kind of feel like avoiding the green plants makes more sense in this area, but... Safe point. 
There it is. There are so many monsters in this world. What are they? The sculptors created everything. This world and all these creatures. I don't know what they are, but it looks like they were created to protect the portal. I see. So if he created everything, why did he create me? It's a mystery. It makes no sense. It looks like he created a monster of a conscience by mistake. Also, yeah, the story is just kind of... eh. Like, maybe the story could drive this if the gameplay was a little mediocre. Because I think mediocre is the best word for it. It's a damn shame! This is a really good art, and the music is really solid, too. Like, the art and music, if put to a game with more spirit, would absolutely work just fine. It would definitely support that spirit. But as it is, yeah, I think I can't say it much better than... This game is as dry as the skeleton protagonist. It exists, and it's fine if you just... If you really just... If you play all the Metroidvanias and you just love Metroidvanias and you want another Metroidvania to play and you don't really care too much if it's like the best Metroidvania or whatever, then I guess this will do you. After Death will do you if you just are a super big fan of Metroidvanias and you don't care, you just want another one to play, go ahead, play this one. However, I don't think it's worth your time, personally. I think you could do a lot better. <laughs> but in any case, that was After Death. Now let's bury it again. <laughs>